Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up groups and add users to those groups within your Active Campaign account. So let's say that you have a salesperson and you wanna give them access to your Active Campaign account. So that way they can go ahead and manage leads and write notes and call people and stuff like that. But you don't want them in there editing your automations and things like that. So you wanna make sure that you give them the right permissions so they can do their job, but not mess anything up. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create a group. So come down here to settings. And then you'll see on the left-hand side, we have the option for users and groups. Go ahead and select that. And we wanna come over to groups. So select groups at the top. And then we'll go ahead and add a new group. And let's go ahead and call this one sales team. So we can add all sales members to this particular group. And you could go ahead and add a description as well. And then go ahead and give them access to all relevant lists. And I have my one list selected right there. But then we come to permissions. And so this is where you have a lot of control over what they can and can't do. So we'll go through a few of these options real quick and take a look. So we have lists. So do we want them to be able to add lists, edit lists, delete lists, manage custom email headers? And no, I don't think so. No salespeople need to be doing that. How about campaigns? So do we want them to be able to add, edit, delete, send campaigns? No. Subscription forms? Do we want them to be able to manage those? No, not really relevant. How about templates? So do you want them to be able to add, edit, or delete templates? No, they don't need to be doing that. How about deals? So this sounds like a salesperson type of thing. So delete deals. So of course this will come down to personal preference and how you want them to be able to control things. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to give them access to all the deal stuff. So delete deals, sure. Reassign deals, sure. I don't want them editing or adding pipelines. That's already gonna be set up and they don't need to be adjusting the pipelines that I have. Manage deal custom fields, sure. Import deals, sure. Export deals, sure. Manage deal roles, sure, okay. I might need to look up a definition of what that actually entails, but we'll go ahead and check it for the sake of example. Enable group access to all deals, sure, why not? So they should have access to all the deal stuff. Let's come on down to accounts now. So do we want them to be able to add, edit, delete, manage account custom fields, import, etc.? No, they don't need to be doing that. We have contacts, so they probably need to be able to do stuff with contacts. Like they'll need to be able to edit contacts. Might as well let them be able to add contacts as well in case they have someone come into the store or something like that and they want to add their information into Active Campaign. Merge contacts, okay. Delete, maybe, maybe not. Import, eh, export, nah, sync, approve. So I'll say sure for that. And that's probably pretty good for the contacts. We have automations right here. So do I want them to be able to manage automations? No. Reports, so I'll go ahead and let them be able to run the deals reports if they want to. We'll turn that on. How about save responses? So do I want them to be able to manage those? No, that's fine. And landing pages, so access landing pages. No, they don't need to be able to do that. So those are all the permiss permissions that I've given them access to. Then we have limits as well. And here's where we can go ahead and set some limits on things. So like limit email sent, limit number of contacts, limit number of lists, limit number of campaigns. So maybe we would have two groups like new salesperson and experienced salesperson where the new salesperson can maybe send like 10 emails in a day or something like that. Until they get their feet wet and warmed up and learn what the heck they're doing. So we could go ahead and limit them to only be able to send 10 emails per day. So you can set limits up if they're relevant or not. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and click on save. So now we have our sales team group set up. Now we need to go ahead and add somebody to it. So let's come back to the users page and we'll go ahead and add a new user and we plug in all their personal information. So I filled in all this information right there and then I'm gonna go ahead and add them to the sales team group right there. And you can adjust multi-factor authentication if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on add user. And so there we go, we now have Brandon as part of our sales team. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in as Brandon real quick just to see what type of access he has. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the link to my active campaign and I'm gonna open a new incognito window and we'll go ahead and log in as Brandon. So Brandon and his password. And so this is what Brandon's account will look like. As you can see, he doesn't have access to automations on the left-hand side. So on my account, you can see I have automations over here on the left-hand side, but on Brandon's, no automations. But he has access to contacts. So he could come in here and see our contacts and he should be able to click on them. Click on Billy Bob here and edit Billy Bob if he wants to. So maybe it's Billy with two Y's and they could go ahead and save changes 
And so, yep, it looks like he has the ability to edit the contacts. Additionally, he should be able to come over here and do stuff with the deals. And I don't have any pipelines or deals set up, so it's kind of hard to test that. But if I was actually going live with this, then I would make sure that he could access the deals and move the deals around and stuff like that. So anyway, that's how you can go ahead and create groups and give them different permissions to access different parts of your active campaign account. And also how you can add users to those groups. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate your sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.